Nicholas, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Stay Alive by Jose Gonzalez. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment if there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. Also, check out the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You're going to get a PDF of this lesson as well as a guitar profile you can play along with. Grab a capo, grab a guitar, let's play. We're going to be in standard tuning, but if you want to have it sound like the record to play along with, you're going to need a capo here on the sixth fret. Chord shapes, it's only four. Obviously he's doing a lot of the stuff in this song that's kind of hard to hear and it's mostly piano bass, but I've broken it down to a C major shape, a G shape, and a minor shape, and then an F shape. And I'm using the F major 7, because I think it sounds nice. So that's an F major 7, or you can do a full F. They both sound great. See which one you like more. The cool thing about this song, well, the many cool things about this song, is that it's in multiple time signatures. Uh, you may not notice that when you're listening to it because it doesn't sound really complicated, but there's going to be a lot of measures of 4-4 and 2-4, so I'm going to break down uh, every little part because the timing will change on the same chords. So the intro and the first verse are all going to be a little more stretched out. We're going to have a couple of extra beats with quite a few of the chords. So it's going to start off with C for four beats. And then G for two, and then A minor for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then A minor for four. One, two, three, four. And then G for two, two, and then F for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is the intro and verse pattern. I'll play through it. The intro goes one time through and the verse goes four times through with a little tag at the end. So let me go through the intro and verse patterns. I'll go through it two times. And at the end of that burst, there's a little tag, A minor, G to F, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From there, it's going to go into a chorus. The chorus is going to have a different pattern. It's going to go C, G, A minor, F, and then G. Let's talk about the timing. C and G, the first two chords are going to get two beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you've got two beats of C, two beats of G, two beats of A minor. Eight beats of F, four beats of G, two beats of A minor, and then four beats of F. And that's going to go two times through. So I'll go ahead and play it two times through, and I'll count the beats. I won't count the measures, I'll count the beats. So it starts with C, G, A minor, F. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna have a little tag at the end, four beats of G. One, two, three, four. Two beats of A minor. One, two, and then eight beats of F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's the intro, the verse, and the first chorus. From there, uh, it's gonna feel like the tempo sort of speeds up a little bit, but what we're actually doing is just shortening some of the chord changes. So in the first uh, intro where we had one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's gonna be shortened to one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, Six. So it's going to go C, G, A minor, A minor, G, F. So we're going to do that two times, and then we're going to have another little tag at the end that's going to go C, G, A minor. From there, we're going to go into the second chorus. Second chorus is going to be the same as the first. It's going to repeat two times. C, G, A minor, F, G, A minor, F. And so what we can do on that is it picks up. We can kind of add these little rhythms to it, which the clock and the band are doing. I've seen him play with an orchestra, and it's um, unfortunately it's a little kind of hard to hear what he's doing, but they're starting to sort of bring some rhythm to it. So it's like, there's a lot of that note, a lot of that, that F sharp note. Sort of giving it that kind of rhythm. So chorus, second time through, C, G, A minor, F. Tag at the end. G, A minor, F, five. And then we get to the outro. Um, it's a pretty straightforward song. The outro is just going to have more of a um, more of a uh, dynamic feel. So it's. So we're doing that C chord, and then I'm doing a B note. Uh, actually, just second fret past the cape on the fifth string, and then a G, and then up to the E note area, and then F. It's gonna do that two times, so it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Do that two times, and then we'll get into a section where it's more hitting the bass now, so it's C, G. So it's hitting that G note, so. Do that five times. And then we're going to have a tag at the end. Let me uncover my paper here. A tag at the end that's going to go C, G, and then it's going to hold F. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then back to C. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Just like the beginning. Five, Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna do that twice. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that little tag right at the end. C. That's just going to ring out, and that's going to be the end of the song. Like I said, he's doing a lot of little interesting things, definitely on the record. When I've seen him live, he's clearly doing some different stuff. Maybe this is a campfire version, but uh, I think this would be an awesome starting part to get uh, starting point, starting part to get started uh, with this song. It's a great song. Check out his other stuff if you haven't already. All right, hope you enjoy it. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. Also, check out the Patreon. For as little as five bucks a month, you're going to get a PDF and a guitar profile of this lesson and a few hundred more. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.